When they first brought me here every night, I heard the same thing. <laughs> Curious it was. Show me how it sounds when we all do it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Every night I heard it. And I wondered why is it so much louder than the sounds in my head? And then I realized those sounds became syllables, became words, became stories and ideas. Someone in the asylum was talking, telling stories, and it brought out a single name. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, lovelies, Johnny Morbid! Good evening. We've been listening to you for some time, but now we finally have a chance to talk. What about, you're asking? Why business, of course. What possible business could you have with me? Well, like so many others out there, you've been wanting and wishing and hoping and praying for something. And sometimes, when things become so desperate, you say those magical little words, I would do anything for. And here I am. And now you're asking, what? What does this man want from me? Does he want my soul? No, don't be silly. They're so fragile. They break so easily. When you buy a hammer, do you take it home, cut it to pieces, and throw it in a fire? No, you use it. You use it until it breaks. And then you buy a new one. No. Now, and besides, the things you'll be doing for us, we don't need to take your soul. It's going to be coming to us anyway. <laughs> no, no, we don't want your soul. We want something a little more robust. We expect something different. We expect pain. Pain grows and feeds on itself. Pain festers like a wound. No matter how long you run or how far, you will never escape pain. That's why we don't use souls. Pain is its own interest. Now, it's not that we expect your pain. We've already had enough of that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation. No, no. We expect you to share this gift we've given you. We expect you to bring pain to others. And certainly you could injure their bodies, but, you know, law enforcement and that pesky will to survive might get in the way of that after some time. No, no. Sometimes, sometimes you want to bring a deeper pain. The suffering that itches at you and claws at your insides, takes a hold of you. But at the end of the day, it's all pain to us. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you give us what is ours. Now, I'm sure that now that we've held up our end of the bargain, you're eager, eager to hold up yours. And I know I have a busy day, so I think it's about time you get to work. 